You know, the three of us spent a lot of days together in the battlefield. Used to rely on one another. I'd even go as far as saying I'd trust Alec and Kima with my life. Not one of us would hesitate to follow the other's lead. I don't want to shoot you, Kima. Then don't. But you ain't getting these plans from me. Bet you that. I was getting tired of their squabbling. So I did what I had to do. Hey, now. Whoa, what are you- Jane, girl, get out of the way. I took a chance throwing my weapon down. I'd hoped they'd follow, but I could see the hesitation. They were both thinking about what they had to lose. <laughs> Putting yourself in the line of fire, unarmed? Here I'd hope the cavalry taught you some tactics. Sounds like you finally believe me. You sure as hell ain't gonna shoot me. So lower them guns. Both of you. There. Was that so hard? Don't push it. For real. Looks like we cleared the bar, too. Hey, we're closed. Come back later. <laughs> there must be a mistake, ma'am. I'm to meet one by the name of Kima Ballo. Oh, somebody looking for me. You Isaiah Goldman? Yes, ma'am, at your service. Ah, thought you'd be older. I'm here for the encampment plans, as we agreed. Well, you ain't getting them, so why don't you... Hang on. What do you want with the plans? Ah. Well, hey, you seem like a cavalry man. Answer the lady. I am, in a manner of speaking. <clears throat> Are you tired of sleeping in dirt, trudging in mud, all to defend our great nation? Don't you miss your wife's cooking or the strum of a finely tuned guitar? Fear not, for we have plenty of wares at Goldman Gifts. Pies from all over the state, musical instruments, warm socks knit from the finest wool in Appalachia. Or how about some fine ointment for those battle scars? What's with this guy? Reminds me of Dante. But pray tell, how are you going to get these fine products out in the middle of nowhere? Well, fear no more, for I have 12 stagecoaches and supply lines all over the state. My traveling merchants will visit each and every encampment guaranteed once a week. Food, clothes, our best bourbon, and more. Only the finest for our bravest. <laughs> Those are some lucky soldiers. So you're a merchant? That's right, Lieutenant. You and your squad won't have to live off rations anymore. You weren't selling to the enemy? Uh, I ain't in the business of blood no more, soldier boy. Sheesh. Figured y'all wouldn't mind a supplier. But you stole minting plates. Why sell plans for money? Too much work to mint all the time. You saw who I hung with. Lightfoot and his crazy band. Besides, I got all the coin I need to take me to Paris after this deal. Which reminds me, you got them real French coins? Ah, uh, yes. Right here. So, that's it then. You just leave for Paris now? You're more than welcome to come, Jane. You know that. And I trust I won't have any trouble from you, LT. Not as long as I get a copy. <laughs> See? And y'all was ready to blow each other's heads off. Maybe in another life. Come on, Goldman, we got a deal to finalize. She can't leave with those plates. She won't. Just give her a minute. I knew you'd find her calamity. Captain? Captain? Jane. Yeah? We just established he's dead. You wouldn't know it by looks alone. Man was right there before us. I realize now one eye was glass and the other seeking vengeance. It was three to one, and he was the only one armed. No sudden movements. None of you. You're alive. No thanks to you. Or you, Kima. Pity. Captain, it's over. We found the plans. Nobody needs to get hurt. You got the map location, Goldman? Yes, Captain. I'm happy to work with the cavalry. You gotta be kidding me. Good. Sheriff's on his way along with the Fort Pierre cavalry. Lieutenant, you'll be arrested for treason. Kima, you'll be executed for attempted murder. Hold up, Captain. It was a misunderstanding. You'll be awarded for your efforts, Calamity. The rest doesn't concern you. Like hell it doesn't! Captain, you were the one running the counterfeiting ring. I ain't going down for you. <laughs> and who will believe you? The word of a traitor who shot his captain in the back? Or you, the guide who cut and ran? 
They'll believe me. You weren't there, Jane. You did all this to set us up. Took a bullet to the eye, but I'd say otherwise the plan is foolproof. No, uh-uh. I ain't going out like this. I know how this ends. My word against the captain and his death. If Kima dropped that lantern, we'd all be up in flame. But I knew O'Rourke didn't care. He was already pulling the trigger when I jumped. Kima, run! Jane! Hang on! <coughs> I'm alright! Just go! <coughs> oh, Lieutenant, you punch like a traitor. This ain't your fight. Let it go. And run from this kind of payday? Never. No one's going anywhere. I didn't want to do this calamity. His bullet grazed my arm, <laughs> and I couldn't believe it, but my own captain was trying to kill me. You'd betray everything and everyone for what? Coin? Someday you'll understand. When you've done enough traveling and living in the gutter, when you crave warm sheets and a life for your family. You had that. You had everything anyone would want. A family, prestige, and us. Can't feed your kids on prestige, Jane. Where are those mitten plates? <coughs> You'll have to kill me to get them. So be it. Fun fact. Don't be running through a fire. Just stay low. I swallowed enough smoke dodging his bullets. <laughs> Could barely tell up from down anymore. Jane, run! Alec came out of nowhere, tackled the captain. Saved me from a dead shot. He and the captain were rolling around, trading punches. Started looking for a gun. That's when the roof collapsed. Bill came first. I could see him smiling at me through the smoke, waiting with open arms. I reached out, but then I saw Faith. The fire reflected in her eyes carried silent warning. What happened next? I blacked out. God damn it! Breathe! That's it. There you go. Oh, hey, girl. Scared me there. Where? Try not to move. You ate a lot of smoke. We're in Deadwood. Alec! I couldn't find Soldier Boy, but the captain won't bother you no more. So that's always a plus. She was right about that. He was only a few feet away, his neck twisted at an impossible angle. Listen, I don't know how long before the sheriff comes, but I can't hang on to this no more. Nothing but bad luck, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Kima, stay. I can't. Take my water, breathe slow, and you'll be all right. Bring this minting plate back to where it belongs. Or don't. I don't care no more. I got the coin. Where are those coveted battle plans? She told me exactly where they were, then she left. Look me up if you ever decide to take your pretty lady to Paris. I know a guy who works at Theater France, so let's see where it takes me. See ya, my friend. Did she say where she was going? Who she'd stay with? Anything? Nope. Just goodbye and good luck. I tried to sit up and look for Alec, but the people kept pushing me down. Took me a while to realize I was an outlaw to them. The one they saw as responsible for the end of their saloon. Then my savior arrived. I ain't your savior. You were that night, no doubt. Step aside, Sheriff here. Deputy, take her into custody. Y'all never found Alec? Downs people didn't see him or your friend, Kima. Then they're a bunch of liars. I'd take the town's words over yours any day. They don't believe a decorated war hero was the scourge you planted him to be. Besides, you had the minton plates, not him. Because Kima gave them to me. She had her fill of coin, it'd be dead weight now. Mighty convenient. <sighs> You're heading out? Unless you got more tall tales, I'll be taking my leave. Need to brief the courts for your trial. Told you. Your mind's already made up.
I listened objectively while you spun the truth into some dime store novel. Did you find Faith? Or Violet? Or Dante? They'll vouch that Alec traveled with me. No one's seen or heard of your traveling troops since they left Rapid City. Then... I need to find them. They could be in trouble. The only one in trouble is you. All I wanted was the truth, but you ain't give me much to work with. Truth is stranger than fiction. Remember that. Good night, Jane. <sighs> think, think. Come on. What the... Hey! Anyone up there? <laughs> or am I really losing it? And <sighs> thought he'd never leave. Faith! Hey you, sorry it took so long. You look the sat. And you're a sat for sore eyes. Am I now? <laughs> Come on, let's get these off ya. Careful now, there'll be time to celebrate later. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. For what? I shouldn't have run off like that. It's just that I wanted to help Kima and Alex missing and... Mm. I get it. And don't worry. We'll figure this out. Together, this time, no secrets. <laughs> Together. Hello, everyone. My name is Jill Siege. I'm the creator of Calamity. Thank you so much for listening to season one. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. If you'd like to work with any one of my talented cast or crew, visit www.twistedtangent.com for more details. We also have a merch shop, which, as of now, contains digital downloads of the complete Season 1 of Calamity, as well as physical copies sold in CD format. Whatever floats your boat, you can purchase. Each sale helps us support the show and keep us ad-free. Links are in the description. Calamity stars Sarah Ruth Thomas as Calamity Jane, Nathan Sager as Lieutenant Alec Townsend, Johnny Matragrano as both Sheriff Boyd and Captain John O'Rourke, Catabelle Ansari as Faith Johnson, Shimon Williams as Kima Ballo, Jordan Kalina as Isaiah Goldman. On the crew side, you have me wearing the writer, director, and producer hat. Casting was done by Sandra Kayume. Sound design by James Finlater. Calamity main theme is composed by Kevin McLeod. Art direction was done by Jocelyn Combe. And a special thanks to my dear friend, Den Valdron, without whom none of this would have been kickstarted. As well as Alyssa Herdig and Victoria Ahmedi. Calamity is distributed by Transistor. One account, multiple pods. Start your free trial today. Calamity will return for season two when it's ready. In the meantime, here's the world RSS premiere of Rise Again, our trailer theme song, sung by Isnin Khan, who'll be joining us as Alice Burke. Thank you so much. See you around. <laughs>